podcast, I read that you said, we have to know about Jefferson because he's the man who found the language to express the greatest aspirations that humanity has. Oh, that's exactly right. He found the words to say the thing we know on an inherent level, but maybe never recognized until we read it from his pen. Absolutely. I'm I've, I, I'm glad I wrote that because I believe it 100%, Megan. I think Jefferson articulated the aspiration of a free people. Okay, the asterisk is there. We grant that. But he understood America better than anybody else, that this was going to be the land of dreams, of aspirations, that we were going to be an idealistic nation, that we were going to try to be an exceptional nation. He wouldn't have used the shining city on the hill because he's a secularist, but you get the point. He pitched us very, very, very high. And when we're at our best, as we occasionally are, we are Jefferson's people. When we are at our best, we are that people, an enlightened, thoughtful, evidence-gathering, rational people who work by majority rule. When we're not at our best, it's not because we're bad people. It's because he pitched us so high. And in fact, he pitched us so high that he himself gets a C- minus or a D along the levels mm -hmm. of ideals that he promoted. And I say this, thank God we had a dreamer in the beginning of this thing. Hamilton was a, a more brilliant financier. Madison was a better political theorist. But only Jefferson could say this, that humans have rights to human happiness if they figure out how to pursue it. Without Jefferson, America is just a country, very rich one. Jefferson made us this people, and you know this if you travel in Europe, they're hard on us. And when we're backed into a corner, we go right into Jefferson that whatever's wrong with us, there is so much that's right with us. And we are a self-correcting people and we're not going to give up till we do justice for everybody and everything. And that's Jefferson, not alone, but more than any other figure in our history with the possible exception of Abraham Lincoln. Short on gift ideas for people? Well, not everyone wants the new iPhone 240 whatever number they're on. In fact, a hard economic year for most has caused essential gifts to be more needed and wanted than ever. Fortunately, you can easily give an essential gift this year, and that is delicious meat. Good Ranchers has gift boxes and gift cards so that you can give America's best meat and seafood this Christmas, and you should. With discounts on orders of five boxes or more, you can save on gifts for the whole family or your business. With 100% American, USDA Prime, and upper choice cuts of beef, chicken, and seafood, you are sure to beat out the new socks and re-gifted candles for the best gift of the year. Head on over to GoodRanchers.com. Use the code MEGAN, M-E-G-Y-N, at checkout for $35 off your delicious gift of meat. If you know someone that likes meat, then you know someone who's going to love Good Ranchers. Your gift goes farther with them because they take the premium price out of premium meats. Go to GoodRanchers.com and find the perfect box for you or a loved one in their curated selection of hand-trimmed meat and seafood. Give the best meat in America, support local U.S. farms, and get 35 bucks off your essential gift with my code, Megan, today. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.